What's good, YouTube? It's your boy RJ Watts back with another video for you guys. And this time we are talking about what is new and improved in NBA 2K25, my team purposes. Now, I'm not big into park. I'll go play it every once in a while, but the my team scene is where I'm at. And I'm going to talk to you guys about what we've noticed differently and what is new and improved that I can go ahead and tell you guys that you probably don't know. But if you do know, hey, you know. But if you don't know, Hey, you tuned in to the right place. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for you, join the list, because you know I'll be rocking. You always know how we do. So we're going to get right into it. I ain't going to waste no time just be sitting there talking to you about it. You might probably skip over this, but we're going to get right into it. So without further ado, what we notice that is new in NBA 2K25, my team, right? Now, we've always talked about this every year, because when you go into a game, you get tired. You get tired. I'm not going to say you get tired. It's just a, it's a habit at this point. But you press that start button. For those that's pros out there, you know what I'm talking about. For those that don't know what I'm talking about, you press that start button. The reason why you press that start button is because we are trying to set our defensive settings up. We're trying to set our offensive settings up and so forth. Well, this year, 2K said, you know what? We're going to save y'all from doing all of that. That way you're not utilizing. Because we use our time. It takes maybe about a minute to two minutes just to go ahead and get our settings straight. Now we've already lost half our timer where we can't really have any pause time to make any adjustments or changes so this year they said let's go ahead and give you let's go ahead and save y'all time so without further being due we are talking about that what you want to do you want to go to your coaching so you're going to go to your lineup and go to your coaching go to coach game plan now you see right here we have offense now it used to just be defense it used to be nothing at all really it used to just be coaching settings but now they've entirely added offense where you can actually make your plays for your playbook already. Now, if you see the screen blocked out on the right side, I'm not trying to show you my playbook because we got some people that kind of tune in and watch what I do. So y'all can't know my plays unless y'all want to know my plays. I could put the money plays out in another video. But that's why you probably see it blacked out. But on the right side, you're going to see favorite plays, what I have in the game, meaning that whatever plays I have here, they will automatically go into a game without me making any adjustments. So I'll be ready to go with all of my plays set up here from the freelancers to the plays, as well as in the defense, too. Now, they had this last year with 2K24 where your defense will be saved, the defensive settings. Um, what's another thing I've noticed on the fly lineups? Now, I, I don't know too much about. I take that back. I kind of noticed what on the fly lineups mean now. So on the fly lineups, which after just looking what I just seen, because at first I was like, what does this mean? I've been trying to figure this out, but just by seeing this is crazy when you pay attention. So on the fly lineups are when you are in a game, right? And you're about to make a substitution and you get to pick from starters, bench, three point shooters, tall and so forth. That's what this is. Right now you see at the top left, it says tall, right? Now, if I go to, let's go to quick. Right now I can actually select who I want to be as a quick player in my lineup of my substitution so we got quick we got defense straight defense these are my defensive guys if i want to say hey i want this guy out on defense more so than this guy i can do that three point shooters that is dope i just noticed that they've allowed for you to actually make a on the fly lineup so that way they're when you do put that and you do select that option they're not picking the player for you you have you you know who you're going in the game with when you want that specific lineup in the game of course we got the player minutes you know that really doesn't matter because i don't use auto subs i use manual and of course the coaching settings um this is where you go ahead and make sure you turn off the late game fouling all the good stuff substitution that way it's not automatically subbed out you do all of that great stuff so this is what is new in this right here the biggest thing out of this entire game plan is the offensive settings not having to go in and do that defense is always a good thing too but mainly the offensive settings for those that actually do run plays for my quote-unquote what they call us sim players right but um let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this this new feature because that was a, like i said this was a big key feature on that as well as talking about the customization hud now the customization hud now you know back then in old 2ks all you gotta do is go to the setting and turn off the shot feedback on off how you want to want it this is a mode well not necessarily a mode but this is a setting where they actually show you the player so that way you don't have to go in a game and see if everything is working for you everything is showing you right here in front of you how it will look in game and that is a 
that that is like a 10 out of 10 thing they could have done within 2k25 so you can go to the shot feedback hey you can turn off shots it's not going to show it you see here or you can turn it back on on all shots now it's going to show you everything from everybody's sh angle from you versus the person you're playing with and so forth this is a key feature as well as in you, you can show the fatigue icon if you don't want to see that hey let me turn that off turn the fatigue icon off hey turn that back on keep it on the left side turn it on the right side gatorade symbol put it above the player when they tired not really keep it on the left side so you can play with this man let me know what you guys think about this too you can make the bar smaller larger smaller more so placement i can put it on the left side nah we're gonna leave it Nah, on the, on the floor visibility i could turn it off at all period but i don't know i like to see when they're tired this is a key feature that they've added into the game those are two key features that they added to the game more so three more so in general with their thinking about as far as and for our capabilities of being able to just play the game without having to pause it because you know you, you hear those guys up oh, he's pausing the game here he goes he about to put his the settings we don't gotta do that no more you just gotta expect it you know be ready for it so if you guys are still out there pausing the game Save your time, make your settings, go into the game, load up, and start going and hooping, man. But this is where RJ with another video for, for you guys. Just want you guys to know in regards to these new improvements that they've made to NBA 2K25, man. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and like I said, throw a comment below, man. This, what did I say in the video before? You push me, I push the content. That's how it's going to go, man. So you, keep, you guys keep pushing me to make this content. I'm going to keep pushing it out for you guys. What do you want to see next? If you have any feedback if you got any recommend recommendations or if you got a question and you want to make a video on it let me know below give me the ideas to help you that way you can hear the mind of what rj is thinking about when it comes to nba 2k 25 my team you dig